Hi everyone. For a final grade five math coding activity, you're gonna be trying to replicate the shark attack game that I've made, and I'm only gonna give you a few clues today. Let me show you how it works. First of all, there's this beetle here, and the beetle is controlled by the up, down, left, and right arrow keys. And your job is to touch all of these numbers as often as you can. One, two, three, four, five. Every time you touch one of these numbers, you get points, mega beetle points, I called it. There's also this shark that's gliding around trying to catch you. If the shark catches the beetle, the game is over, everything stops. I also have this timer going so that when you hit the green flag, the timer starts to keep track of how long you're alive. Let's just try this game once. I'm going to hit the green flag and see if I can get a whole bunch of points. Ready, set, and go. Ah, there I'm trying to get the numbers without getting hit by the shark. Oh, man. Anyways, you'll see that I got 37 points and I was alive for four seconds. It's a tough game. I'm not going to show you the code that I use, but here's some of the key coding blocks that I use to create Shark Attack that I suggest you use as well as, 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 well as others. First of all, I did the pro coding style of uh, moving the shark or the beetle with the arrow keys, uh, forever checking to see if I touch the right arrow key. If I touch the right arrow key, change X by 10. Also, change Y by 10, change Y by negative 10, and so on and so forth. That's how I controlled the beetle. You'll remember there's no lag like we saw in lesson one of this series using my pro coding way of controlling the beetle. The beetle is also pointing in the direction that it's traveling. So if it's going to the left, it's pointing left. If it's going up, it's pointing up. When the numbers are touched by the beetle, the colors change. The numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, they change color effect every time the beetle touches them. Um, I also used a lot of these if-then statements. If touching the number, then change color. If touching the beetle, change color. If the shark is touching the beetle, then end game. So there's lots of if-then statements. I'm also having the shark change its costume so it looks like it's opening and closing its mouth. When the game is over, when the shark touches the beetle, everything stops. The points stop, the timer stops. I used two variables. I created a variable and I called one variable the mega beetle points. You can call it whatever you want, but I gave the beetle points. Every time it touches a number, the points go up. I also made a timer, so I clicked the arrow, I made a new variable and called it time alive. So it starts at zero and there's a tracker, every one second it changes numbers. At the end, I like to add these two, how many points I got and how long I was alive to get a total score. So let's try one more time, ready? Green flag, I'm gonna start all over again, the beetle will start down here and I'm gonna to try to get as many points as I can. Ready, set, and go. Up arrow keys, whoops, ready, set, and go. Ah. There we go. I also added this popping sound that the shark makes. Oh, I'm getting a lot of points this game. Ah! Anyways, that's shark attack. Here are some of the key coding blocks you should use. And um, I suggest that you use as others as well. And good luck creating this game. If you get stuck, you might want to go back to some of the previous lessons just to double check how you do some of these things. I'm going to try one more while you watch. And I wish you best of luck. And I look forward to seeing you another time soon. Have a good rest of your day. Ah, all right. I'll keep trying. Anyways, have a good day. Bye, everybody.